Hey, Beer Tidwell 55 here. Redoing this video. Uh, this is my review of Ubuntu uh, 10.04. Uh, I think the code name is Lucid Links or something silly like that. Anyway, uh, first of all, I want to say I'm very impressed with this operating system. The uh, initial impression is uh, applications launch a lot faster, they close a lot faster, it seems to be a lot, the UI is a lot slicker, default UI on this uh, is much, much improved, they finally got away from that burnt orange, brown, earth tone crap uh, uh, that always seemed to be the default. Uh, now you'll notice I don't have the default uh, I'm not using the default Metastasy window decorator, I'm using Emerald, so that's why uh, my window controls are on the top left hand corner of the window instead of the top right hand corner. This is where I'm used to it being at, and uh, you know, I, there are things that I like about the Mac OS X user interface, I like the dock, that's why I use Avon Window Navigator, but I just can't used to get used to window controls being on the left hand side. It just seems wrong to me. That's easy enough to change even in Metastasy. Now, uh, I did something with this upgrade that I hardly ever do and I never recommend anybody do. I did an in-place upgrade. And uh, now the reason why I normally do that, it's been my experience that with Ubuntu anyway is that when you upgrade from one version to the other something it usually breaks something it, it, it will either break your UI customizations or it will break some of your applications and uh, you're just you just save save yourself a lot of time a lot of headaches by doing a clean install and then reinstalling all your apps uh, I didn't do it this time because I really didn't want to try to I I th I wanted to attempt to save myself some of that headache so I did the in place upgrade I started I went to work came home at lunch clicked a couple of options and then when I got home from work the upgrade was done and I gotta say I'm very impressed this was the uh, most painless upgrade I've ever done now I have noticed two things that it did that the upgrade did break. Uh, the first one being uh, my Avon Window Navigator no longer auto starts. And yeah, I've checked the settings. I know how to make it auto start. Everything looks right and it's not auto starting. The other thing is apparently they've changed the Og Vorbis codec because when I tried to upload the previous version of this I recorded it using GTK record my desktop. GTK record my desktop only saves in Ogvorbis format. Now normally what you're able to do is you're able to take that and put it in the FFmpeg or some other converter and get into a different format. Or I've I'm used to just uploading them directly to YouTube and not having an issue. Well there was an issue. So Anyway, that's why I'm redoing this video, and I downloaded another package called uh, XVidCap, and I'm using XVidCap to capture my screen and capture my face right now. Usually, actually using XAWTV for the webcam capture, and uh, the overall desktop capture is XVidCap. So anyway, that's my, uh, but overall, worthy upgrade. Uh, looks like some actual real improvements, something's going on under the hood, they've made this thing a lot faster, and uh, I like it. So, anyway, thanks for watching everybody.